Let's embrace uncertainty as an opportunity for learning and innovation in education for sustainable development. First, let me introduce to you an example of uncertainty on climate change and biodiversity loss. The local community is situated near a forest known for its diverse range of species. And due to climate change, the patterns of precipitation and temperature in the region are changing, affecting the habitat and species within the forest. This is a situation full of uncertainty, where scientists and the local community do not have complete information about how species will respond to the changing climate conditions. There are maybe unknowns regarding the adaptability of species to these changes. It is also a situation characterized by complexity in predicting the cumulative effects of climate change on the entire ecosystem. This also includes understanding how changes in one species' behavior or one population might alter the broader ecological network. Furthermore, there is inherent randomness in natural processes, such as mutation rates in species or unpredictable extreme weather events, which could drastically alter the forest ecology. However, as scientists, we are also face difficulties in accurately measuring the extent of biodiversity loss or the rate of species migration due to the climate change, owing to the limitations in current scientific methods or our technology use. And finally, different scientists or stakeholder groups might interpret the data of the climate impact differently, leading to varied conclusions and varying recommendations for conservation effects. The evolving nature of scientific knowledge about climate change and its impacts on biodiversity will also challenge this situation. As new research emerges, previous understandings may be need to be re-evaluated or updated. Talking to you as a science education researcher, what is the theoretical background of what I just said? First, uncertainty is an inherent aspect of any scientific investigation, and often it is uncertainty that propels scientists forward. Facing uncertainty, it often comes with a motivation to investigate, to discover, to learn something new that we do not know yet. And in the context of education for sustainable development, facing uncertainty also means looking into an uncertain future. We cannot predict what the future will unfold. And taking climate change and biodiversity loss as an example, we already know a lot and have made various predictions, yet uncertainty persists. We have learned to navigate uncertainty in order to manage it effectively. From a science education perspective, we must remember that uncertainty is a polysemious term. It can mean different things to different people. We differentiate between two types of uncertainty. First, a psychological perspective, which is individual and refers to the personal feeling of uncertainty. And second, there is external uncertainty, which is objective and inherent in scientific investigation. And taking external uncertainty seriously means we must subdivide the concept more thoroughly. The most familiar is epistemic uncertainty, related to the not knowing something but being aware of this gap in knowledge. And this is mostly common in undiscovered areas. In contrast, structural uncertainty arises from complexities that make predictions impossible. And this is typical in complex living systems like ecosystems we just talked about and it involves the unpredictability of self-organizing systems. Adding aleatoric uncertainty plays an important role and stems from randomness in various contexts. Measuring uncertainty is another type of uncertainty, quite technical in nature and often discussed in many scientific investigations. It involves inaccuracies in describing or precisely measuring the subject under investigation through specific measurements. And these four types of uncertainty are often mixed in reality, complicating our understanding and managing of uncertainty as scientists and as communities. And for this reason, a common scenario is also consensus uncertainty, where different interpretations of the same data lead to varied conclusions. And finally, in science, we have ontological uncertainty, which highlights the evolving nature of scientific knowledge, reflecting its durable yet tentative character. 
To summarize, there are several types of uncertainty in scientific investigations and in scientific knowledge. What remains uncertain is in which type of knowledge, skills and competences we are investigating in our schools. What, is our, what are essential competencies relevant for students to effectively navigate uncertainty? And in this final slide, I introduce to you an integrated framework describing these competencies. We believe students need competencies in three areas. First, understanding uncertainty. Second, managing uncertainty. And finally, reflecting on the nature of science um, as an aspect, how to effectively reflect uncertainty. For understanding uncertainty, students should be able to first identify, evaluate, differentiate and make uncertainty explicit. This means if I see a context like the forest we just introduced, we have to first identify what type of uncertainty we have, what is the uncertainty. Then we have to evaluate the sources of uncertainty and differentiate between the different types of uncertainty we just talked about. And finally, we have to make explicit where is the uncertainty visible. Is it a numerical, is it a verbal or is it a re graphical representation of uncertainty? For managing uncertainty, students should know how to make decisions amidst uncertainty. And this includes a range of strategies such as reducing uncertainty, modeling, experimentation, using approximations, reducing the number of variables in a system, and finding and considering different scenarios such as good and worst case scenarios. So we have to learn to estimate consequences despite the uncertainty in the scientific process. Students should learn to tolerate uncertainty as an inherent feature of scientific work and not as a negative aspect. And finally, sh students should be able to reflect on uncertainty from a meta level, understanding it as a key element of the nature of science, given the tentative yet durable nature of scientific knowledge. As we conclude our exploration of uncertainty in the realm of education for sustainable development, let us remember Embracing uncertainty is not just a challenge, but a profound opportunity for learning and innovation. By accepting and navigating the unknowns, we open new pathways for understanding of our learners, empowering us to creatively and effectively address the complex issues of sustainability in our ever-changing world.